What is good my YouTube family? Thank you for clicking on this video because today I'm going to be giving you guys some advice on how to build a clientele, right? Because as you guys know, my, my channel is based around uh, barbering and, and stuff like that. So we have everywhere from experienced barbers that have been in the game for a very long time. Uh, it's people that just started and are new to the game or people that are have not even started cutting hair but are thinking about getting into the career and field you know what I mean and a frequently asked question that I get is um how do I build a clientele right and when we start cutting hair or when we first get our license that is uh, something that 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 scares us right is like man what if I graduate barber school and I get in the barber shop and like man I don't have clients like it takes me so long to get clients and listen it's gonna happen okay you're gonna get in a shop you're gonna be new if you weren't already cutting before. You're gonna be new, and you're gonna have to solely depend on walk-ins and uh, your ability to advertise yourself, right? So I wanna give you guys some tips and some things that I use to get to the point where I'm at now, right? Because I'm never gonna tell you guys to do something that I haven't done myself. So uh, recently I actually hit some a, a crazy milestone to where uh, last month, I got to the point where I was booked out two and a half months in advance, uh, which is super crazy. Okay, I never would have imagined that I'd be booked out for, you know, almost three months, two and a half months. That is a super long time, especially for a haircut, okay? And it's not like my haircuts are super long. I have them set at uh, our appointments and I'm in the shop or in my suite for 12 hours a day, you know what I mean? So I'm doing at least 12 heads a day. Some people I can cut faster, so I'm able to squeeze people in. But I have a solid 12 cuts a day that I'm in here for. I charge 30 for a haircut, 35 with beard. And I'm here 12 hours a day, almost six days a week, right? And I'm booked out for two and a half months in advance. And I'm gonna show you guys how I did that, okay? Before I share the tips and tricks with you guys, I wanna give you guys proof, okay? So we're gonna go to my booksy, okay? Once my, my phone focuses, we're gonna go to booksy, which is the app I use to do appointments. And then we're gonna click on just men's. That's what we're gonna look for is haircuts. Then we're gonna go to search. We're gonna look up Dre. And it's gonna be Andre Morales slash Dre Clipper Hands. And we're gonna go, sorry if it's not focused. Let me adjust the light in real quick. So we're gonna go to a haircut, right? We're gonna go haircut. And the next available date is January 14th, all right? And today's date is November 23rd. The only reason I showed you guys that was to prove to you that your boy's not lying. Uh, I really am booked up like that. And I praise God for it, you know what I mean? But that's why I feel like I have the knowledge and experience to add value to you guys and hopefully help you get to that level as well. All right? So let's get into it, all right? So let's say you just started cutting hair or you just got your barber's license or you may or may not already have your barber's license and you're at a point where it's like, man, I'm struggling to build my clientele. Like, this is hard. Uh, and I understand. I understand the insecurity that comes with that, the frustration and the patience it takes to to push past that, that season of your barbering career. Right? But I just want to encourage you to stay, stay motivated. Don't let this discourage you. Don't let it make you think you suck. Don't. Don't be discouraged, okay? I'm telling you, once that clientele starts to build, you will have a great career in this barbering game, okay? But I wanna start off with uh, what helped me when I first started, okay? Obviously, when you first started cutting, the first people that are easiest to cut is your friends, or your family, and then your friends, okay? You're gonna start off with cousins, you're gonna start off with uncles, you're gonna start off with siblings, and then it's gonna go to friends, you know what I mean? And I would say that's two people groups that's the easiest to start cutting, all right? So once you get past that, let's get into cutting people that you don't even know for real. You know what I mean? And I wanna say, when I got to that point, what helped me out the most was uh, my church family, okay? And you may or may not go to church, but you are involved in a social group, whether it be church, a sports team, your work, or, and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So I wanna tell you to take advantage of whatever whatever social group that you're in. For me, my church family, when I first started, was a great uh, community of people that helped me launch my barbering career. 
right? A lot of people at the church knew I cut hair, so I would literally ask everybody, yo, let me cut your hair. I'll do it for free if you let me cut your hair. And I would ask everybody, and it got to the point where one person accepted it, and I started cutting them consistently, and I would blaze them. And then I would ask more people, and I would ask more people, and it just continually started to grow. To grow, not grow, sorry about that. And it continually started to grow. And I would say they are what helped me really start to take off in building my clientele, right? Because it gave me the reps and it gave me just the reps and the ability to just cut more heads and get better, you feel me? So take advantage of whatever social group that you're in, whether it be work, sports team, or whatever social group you're involved in, take advantage of it. Ask everybody to cut their hair, start with for free, then go up to five, then go up to 10, and just gradually start to build from there. All right, now I'm going to get into the second uh, tip, which is by far, I feel like should have been the first tip, to be honest. The biggest influence on my barbering career, and that is social media. Okay, if you have me on Instagram now, you see how much I post. I post at least once a day, right? Because consistency is how you grow as far as cutting, as far as social media and branding, all of that stuff, okay? So if you are cutting hair and you don't have social media, you don't have Instagram, you don't have TikTok, you don't have Facebook, you're slacking, all right? They go hand in hand at this point in the barbering industry, okay? So if you are cutting hair, start an Instagram. Start posting your haircuts. Start advertising yourself. Start tagging people. You know what I mean? Start using hashtags like the city that you're in. I cut in Ohio and I'm very close to Cleveland. So I'm always hashtagging Cleveland Barber. If you're in Atlanta, hashtag Atlanta Barber. If you're in Texas, hashtag Texas Barber. You know what I mean? So post your haircut, post some hashtags with it and just start to post consistent, consistently. And you will gradually start to see people messaging you trying to get in for haircuts. You know what I mean? So get in the social media game and don't fall in love with one platform. Don't just hop on Instagram, hop on Facebook. Because I feel Instagram acts as the global social media for worldwide. But I would definitely say Facebook, if you are friends with a lot of people in your city, Facebook is a great way to reach people locally. People that actually matter. Getting people into your chair that, that live near you. People that would actually come back consistently, right? So hop on Facebook, hop on Instagram, and as well as TikTok, right? I was super skeptical of TikTok at first because I was like, man, it's cringy. Everyone's doing these dancing trends. I don't do all that. But I hopped on TikTok and I just reposted everything that I used to put on my Instagram, those videos, and I would just put it on my TikTok. And now my TikTok is gradually starting to grow. And believe it or not, I've actually had one or two clients uh, from TikTok already. And it's weird because I was like, man, you found me on TikTok? And they're like, yeah, man, I found you on TikTok and I scheduled an appointment with you, right? But I would say hop on social media. That is by far the biggest second tip that I would give you guys, hop on social media. Now let's get into the third and last tip, okay? Uh, and it is your haircut, okay? And the experience that you provide. Uh, obviously, you, as a barber, you wanna give the best possible haircut. You wanna blaze them. You wanna give them the blurriest fade with the crispiest lineups, and that is important, all right? But I can definitely tell you guys that when starting off and even keeping the clientele that I have now, it goes way beyond the haircut. It goes it goes deep. It goes to how you treat your client from the moment that they walk in the door. Do you remember their name? Do you remember the type of haircut that they usually get if, they, if you've been cutting them for a while? And if they're new, do you remember the name when they walk in? Are you ready to greet them? Are you ready to provide an experience like no other barber can provide? Are you speaking with a professionalism, right? Are you, are, are you carrying yourself in a way that is professional? You know what I mean? Are you able to offer advice? Are you Are you a good listener? You know what I mean? Everything, all of it, the environment that you create, the experience that you create is what is going to lock in that client. And when you add a good haircut on top of that, it's over. You know what I mean? That's a client for life. So I'm telling you right now, obviously you wanna get better with your haircuts. You wanna give them the best possible haircut. That is a given. But I'm telling you right now, the third and most important tip is the experience that you provide, right? Make your client comfortable. Speak to them. Ask them how they've been. Ask them about their family. Ask them about their, what, what they like to do. You know what I mean? Provide an experience that no other barber 
is providing in, in around you, you know what I mean? And that is how you are going to dominate your city. That is how you are going to get to your full potential in the barbering game, is providing an experience that no one else can provide, you know what I mean? So, first tip was dominating whatever social group you're part of, your church family, your work family, your sports team, or whatever social group you're a part of. Second tip was social media. Hop on Instagram, hop on Facebook, hop on TikTok, start a YouTube channel, family, document your journey. Especially if you're getting into the barbering game. Imagine you get into barbering at a super young age, or, or you get into barbering, you've never cut before, and you just record the journey from now up until where you're gonna be. Imagine documenting that and giving encouragement to other people that watch that video. That is crazy. You know what I mean? Start a YouTube channel. And the third and most final tip is obviously you wanna give a good haircut. That is a given. I don't even have to elaborate on that. That is why you subscribe to my channel. That is why you watch tutorials. But the third and most important tip is provide an experience that no one else in your city or or a region can provide and that is how you're going to dominate that is how you're going to get the best out of your barbering career and build a clientele that is solid and that is built on relationship right if you can build a relationship with your client you got them because they're not going to want to go to another barber and start over you know what i mean and, and take a chance of getting a messed up haircut and sharing a part of themselves with that other barber you know what i mean so build a relationship with your clients provide an experience that should that that no one else could provide. I hop on social media to get attention, to get new people into your chair and dominate your social group to start off in your barbering career. Family, I hope these tips helped you in building, uh, it will help you in building your clientele. But I thank you for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Drop a comment down below if this helps you in any way, shape or form. But family, God bless you guys. Catch y'all next time.